Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your November 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Libra, remember these readings won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Now it takes a minute or two to put the cards on the table. If you don't want to see the shuffle, by all means fast forward. Just appreciate a lot of people do like to see the shuffle. Okay. Message for Libra, thank you. Knight of Wands. <laughs> very nice energy. Very exciting, fast change. Six of Wands. King of Pentacles. Hermit. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's pull some cards for love, romance, relationships, and we'll look at money, career as well, Libra. And any other message that comes to light here. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> the Magician, look at this, and the Wheel of Fortune in your love romance relationships. Yeah, <laughs> very nice indeed. What do we have for Libra in money career, please? What do we have for Libra in money and career? Thank you. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. I'm going to pull one more for this one. Oh, Seven of Cups. Choices, options. Okay, Libra, I'm going to pull your overarching energy. So what do we have for our lovely Librans, please? This is the Angel Answer Deck. What do we have? We have Be Assertive. That is so the Knight of Wands. All about change here. Being assertive, taking action. What do we have for Libra, please? What do we have for Libra in love, romance, relationships? Let your friends help you. Ask for support. Ask for and accept support from others. We have no more complaining here, Libra. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Absolutely beautiful energy. Okay. Knight of Wands, change, and it's big change, exciting change. Um, can represent some kind of opportunity, even a passion coming into your life here. Um, sometimes a player energy here, Libra, you might be dealing with a player, uh, somebody who is a little bit non-committal, non-committal. Uh, it might well be for some of you that you've been dealing with this uh, energy or a person who's been about this. 
This can also be some very exciting opportunity that's close to your heart, the Knight of Wands, that brings change. So it feels very exciting from that point of view. I feel in this energy you are understanding how to deal with this kind of person and overcome it. There's an energy here also of you taking action. You know, the Knight of Wands is about inspired action. I'm going in this direction, I'm doing this. So whatever this is to you, I feel that this represents some significant change by your actions or by something coming into you, coming in very quickly. We have the Hermit and the Six of Wands, healing and overcoming challenge and putting it behind you and actually feeling pretty good about it. So somebody has been going through a process of healing um, but they're claiming a victory, they're claiming success. Sometimes this can be a card of finding answers from within and it can be in terms of raising your vibration from within and claiming some significant victory because you've been guided to um, overcome that which has challenged you in some way. There's certainly an energy of victory and success associated with the Six of Wands, a significant victory and success. But it's generally a card of putting challenge behind you, feeling pretty good about it and moving on. There is this energy, you know, that I was getting of some kind of play here uh, because we have the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So somebody who offers what they say they offer, they are who they say they are. There's no hidden agenda, there's no games, there's no manipulation, there's no transient energy with the King of Pentacles. I feel you might be meeting somebody like that Libra um, or have met somebody like that maybe. It definitely feels for some of you something new and exciting is coming your way, but it offers you something st stable, something secure. You know, the Nine of Pentacles can be somebody who stands in their own self-worth, their own self-esteem. I feel for some of you, you've moved on from a situation where you needed to heal and put challenge behind you in terms of love, romance, relationships. But I do see you standing in your own power, looking good, feeling good, taking care of yourself, feeling empowered. And that is attracting this King of Pentacles. Uh, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationship, this is somebody who is coming in for the long term. So it always feels very good. In terms of money, this can be a business leader or an investor who is going to bring greater material success into your life. Yeah. And there can be an energy between both of these energies of requiring some kind of investor. If you, you, you've got your own business, you might be taking action to start your own business or progress your own business, overcoming some kind of challenge. And there, there's the energy of you might be attracting some kind of investor or needing some investment, maybe a bank manager or a loan in some way. For others of you, there's certainly an energy here of, of some standard, exciting opportunity. Um, where you will thrive. I mean, there's an energy of maybe meeting somebody in business that offers you some kind of opportunity that will just allow you to thrive in your own right. I mean, this is a card of uh, feeling abundance, material success. Feels really, really beautiful here. These cards are saying that you have the power to manifest whatever you want. So this is an energy of if you find, if you've overcome some kind of challenge in love, romance, relationships, and you've been healing, you have now have the power to turn something about, turn something around in your love life. You have full mastery over that to bring good things into your life, good connections, growth, expansion in your love, romance area. 
but you have to take action to do that. You have to focus on the one thing that you want to change and allow that to be changed. Sometimes in this energy, you know, Libra, we can find ourselves you know, in this energy of nine of pentacles, well, I'm all, I'm, I'm, I'm doing well, I'm feeling abundant, I'm feeling powered, I'm on my own. But there may be, well, may well be one thing missing. Where is the love? And there's an energy of taking action to do something about it. Because you have the power now, and there's a definite energy that you're ready, whatever this is, you're ready now, you've overcome past hurt, past difficulty in love, and there's an energy that you're ready. And if you do take action, I feel that there is somebody coming into your atmosphere who is offering you um, long-term commitment relationship. I feel that this is you taking action with the Knight of Wands, doing something about it in terms of love, romance, relationships, because you're ready. You're ready to get back on that horse. And that's what the energies are saying. I did pick up on the player energy before, but I've got an energy here, Libra. I feel that maybe that's what you dealt with. Something that just didn't have legs for whatever reason. Didn't have long-term potential. Yeah. Is what I'm getting the most. I feel this is an energy of getting back on the horse. And the magician and the Wheel of Fortune say now is the perfect time to do that. But you get the reality that you manifest right now. And that's what these energies are saying to you. So for some of you, there's certainly good luck around you. And there could be some luck, uh, some coincidental meeting with somebody. And look at this, you know. Somebody is done complaining. They're doing something about it. Taking action. Um, because I certainly feel in this energy there could be somebody in terms of business, career, offering you some kind of opportunity here, Libra. And it's something solid and secure and stable and that it, there's a feeling of abundance. I feel that this will enable you to walk away from a place that may have just played out where you're not getting anything more from it or it could be moving on from disappointment in some way to new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. And I feel this new, this Queen of Pentacles is coming in. Maybe somebody in business or career is offering you an opportunity. You know, you might have more than one opportunity presented to you this month. You know, the, sometimes this can be about choices and options. But I feel in this energy, you're going to go with what is going to bring you greater abundance. Allow yourself to provide in a greater way for yourself, your family, your home, whatever this resonates for in terms of being more financially lucrative, more financially stable, and um, maybe getting more money as well. It just feels in this energy that you have options around you, maybe exploring options, and there is a, certainly a concrete offer on the table. So it just feels very, very beautiful, very exciting. Yeah, it just feels a really auspicious energy. Somebody is done complaining, they're doing something about it, they're exploring new hopes, new dreams, new wishes. You could be going online, you could be applying for opportunities here, and I feel something concrete is coming your way. Again, this can just be about moving on from, you know, moving on and embracing change. It can also be an exciting opportunity, the Knight of Wands. But I just feel whatever you needed to, this is about going within and understanding that you have to sometimes overcome your own inner conflict and move past that in order to bring greater growth and fulfillment into your life. Now, Libra, I will also say in this energy, because I've got the King and Queen of Pentacles here, which can represent two people who match each other perfectly. There could be some business partnership or collaboration going on here. It could be a family business that's going on here um, where there's progress here or something to do with family business in this energy. Um, you could also be meeting somebody at work. And that's the energies that I have for you. And you have the power to get the love life that you 
desire. And that's what these cards are telling you. Um, you have some control over or you have control over when this happens. So I feel for some of you, there's an energy here of, of the potential is yours. You just have to work your magic in terms of figuring out what you want and then just manifest it. And there is this energy of the universe just bringing it into you. It feels really beautiful. So I'm going to pull a final message for you. Final message for Libra. Final message for Libra. Final message for Libra, please. We have starfish intuition. Listen to your soul's truth. Think less, feel more. Nice energy, Libra. And we have dolphin Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. And that is the healing wisdom, the hermit. I just feel that you're finding some clear answers that are going to guide you in a direction to bring greater abundance into your life, either in terms of love, romance, relationships or money areas. It could be both for some of you, but it definitely feels your friends may pay a part in this. Could be some matchmaking going on even. We also have this energy of you're done feeling negative or fed up with your current circumstances in money career finances and you're exploring your options and i feel there are options out there for you ending with some kind of concrete offer there's definitely something to do with workplace partnerships or workplace or family businesses or meeting somebody in the workplace here so that may be, play a part for you as well but either way it's definitely feeling empowering month um, financially lucrative month, the card of change, but this is the Knight of Wands is somebody doing something about it. Someone taking action and doing something about it and being assertive because they want the dream, they want the hope, and they're ready to manifest. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.